Oh look, a new hardest. I beat this in June this year and I've not uploaded it up until now since I had not gathered enough video material to justify an episode in this video series. Now however I am finally able to showcase you this achievement. I am very sorry you have to look at this garbage for a minute though. This level can genuinely burn in hell for all I tear. The gameplay was haphazardly made in the span of three days for the sake of difficulty, decorated idiotically that intentionally or unintentionally obscured the vision of what the hell was going on, and playtested terribly where multiple parts have dumb bugs that are piss easy to fix. Players who have beaten this level before me said the level was going to get consistent with time, and yeah, they're right. It gets very consistent, but that doesn't make the level good. Here we have a bit of a filler for this video. Majority of players know this level quite well, and would know that the hardest part in this level lies at the very end, with a final ship part that is super easy to choke. Typical sorry garbage. I don't really have that much to say about this level other than I find it peculiar that this level was supposedly re-rated when neither myself or Restoration Union have managed to find proof of original Red World ever being rated. Oh, and uh, a confession of mine would be that I technically also beat Red World Rebirth but I fluked it from 67% without recording, so it is completely irrelevant. And I feel like that is the only time I'll ever be able to mention this, so there you go. Oh boy, I got a lot to say for this one. Whereas I would recommend Original The Hell Zone since it is genuinely pretty fun, and where I would tell everyone to never play the original The Hell World, what do I think of World's sequel? Quite frankly, it is really, really boring. The entirety of the level is fairly well balanced overall, except for two sections that are a huge difficulty spike. These sections are 17 to 21 and 82 to 85. The first part is pretty self-explanatory as to why it is so hard, but the second part is a bit more confusing. Firstly, the tightest timing at 83 is a 2 frame jump on 240Hz, and it is stupid easy to mess up. I died here 11 times before finally passing it and beating the entire level. On top of that, the yellow pad at 85 that is meant to throw you into the yellow portal is broken on 240Hz, so you have to skip it like I do in the video. This level was so boring that I felt almost obligated to start streaming on Twitch to deal with the BS. I eventually ended up beating this while streaming, and I gotta say, I beat this level in probably the best way ever, which I'll demonstrate in the end. Oh my god. You. I didn't die, I clicked outside the screen. 
Oh. oh. Saved yeah. it. Oh. Nice. No fing way! Did, did, did you beat it? Oh. Oh look, a new artist. And god damn is it a new artist. I cannot believe I managed to pull this off. The remake of the Hell Origin does not do the idiotic difficulty of the original version justice, and quite frankly that probably is for the better. This disgusting level has so many choke points, ship parts where all of them are garbage somehow, endless unique timings that are straight up bullshit. And to top it off the fact when the entire level is already hard enough, the hardest part of the entire level is the final section at 94%. The final 10% of the level has 7 near frame perfect timings, 5 of them being ball timings. The final ball section has spikes that are closer together and it is near impossible to do them. Somehow I only had a 94 and 95 death after finally fluking the rest of the level. This is one of the most brutal challenges I've had to endure in recent time, and despite that, I am super lucky to have not died more at this ballpark. You have no idea how hard it is to do, and I managed to do it from zero. With this completion, excluding deviation, I am the first player in the world to have beaten all of Son of 924's levels. Oh look, a level that would have been my new hardest to attempt if I had not beaten the Hell Origin. I got a couple of short things to say about this level, one of which is that I still remember how much trust that was memed and made fun of for nerfing Yanagarasa like he did. To the person who joined in and made fun of Trusta for this very thing, in the words of James May, you big doffed c**k. Genuinely, Yanagarasu is one of the best examples you're going to find of a balanced 3 minute extreme demon. He did an amazing job. The only part that is a setback is the first 20%, where Regicha's part genuinely sucks ass, and Wugi slash Findex's parts are pretty easy to show for stupid reasons. I enjoyed my time playing this level though, despite me dying on later parts. A very promising start for an extreme demon, especially one this long. So you'll see me beat this in the next episode for sure.